Ohm's Law There are certain formulas in physics that are so powerful and so pervasive that they reach the state of popular knowledge. The predominant equation which pervades the study of electric circuits is the equation V is equal to I into R. In words, the electric potential is the difference between two points on a circuit V is equal to the product of the current between those two points I and the total resistance of all electrical devices present between those two points are often referred to as the Ohm's law equation this equation is a powerful predictor of the relationship between potential difference current and resistance The greater the battery voltage, the greater the current, and the greater the resistance, the less the current. Charge flows at the greatest rates when the battery voltage is increased and the resistance is decreased. The total length of the wires will affect the amount of resistance. The longer the wire, the more resistance that there will be. There is a direct relationship between the amount of resistance encountered by charge and the length of wire it must traverse. The cross-sectional area of the wires will affect the amount of resistance. Wider wires have a greater cross-sectional area. Water will flow through a wider pipe at a higher rate than it will flow through a narrow pipe. This can be attributed to the lower amount of resistance that is present in the wider pipe. A variable that is known to affect the resistance to charge flow is the material that a wire is made of. Not all materials are created equal in terms of their conductive ability. Some materials are better conductors than others and offer less resistance to the flow of charge. Silver is one of the best conductors but is never used in wires of household circuits due to its cost. Copper and aluminium are among the least expensive materials with suitable conducting ability to permit their use in wires of household circuits. The conducting ability of a material is often indicated by its resistivity.